Hello, kids, and welcome to Harlem. Hello, Miss Erica. It's great to see you. Well, hello, Mr. Joaquin. It's great to see you, too. Are you ready to learn more about God today? Yes, I am. We're always for a treat here at Harlem. Let's head over to the farm and see what Farmer Joe and his friends are doing today. I think that's a great idea. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Farmer Joey, and I'd like to welcome you to Heartland. Here in Heartland, we like to sing songs of Jesus, hear about God's love, and learn from the Bible. Also, we can be more like Jesus. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, how about you all stand right where you are and give yourself a hand? Give yourself a pat on the back and a great big hug for tuning into Heartland today. Oh, I can't wait to bake some bread. It's going to be delicious. I wonder what kind we're going to make. It's going to be so good. Mm, can't wait. Uh, hi, Tiana. Hey, um, were you talking about baking bread? Because I love homemade bread. Hi, Farmer Joey. Yes, I am going to be baking bread with Miss Sue today. Oh, yummy. I hope there's enough for me, too. Oh, I hope so. Because it seems like everyone wants some. Really? Mr. Frank, my mom and dad... Tina, Lucas, Nate, Lucy, Uniqua, and you. Wow, that's a lot of people. I know. And the whole reason we were baking it is to give it to Chad's family to Aww. welcome them to Heartland. Well, that's really nice of the two of you baking it for Chad's family. That's awesome. Well, I guess we'll see if it's enough or not. But you know, it does remind me of the Bible story this morning about Elisha. Oh, yes. I was thinking about that, too. Is, is it a part of the story where Elisha gave out only a few loaves of bread, but it fed 100 men, right? Yes, yes. That's the one I was thinking of, too. Elisha knew that God would provide enough food for everyone to eat. But, you know, there are other miracles that Elisha performed, too. Oh, yeah. There were a lot. Do you think I can come back and talk later, Farmer Joey? Miss Sue is waiting for me. Of course, of course. Yeah, go go ahead and bake your bread, mm -hmm. and then come on back, and we'll talk more about the miracles that Elisha performed. Okay. Bye, Farmer Joey. All right, bye. Mm -hmm. Boys and girls, God used many different prophets to perform miracles on his behalf so that the people would know that God was the one true God. So while we wait for Tiana... How about we stand and use our best singing voices to sing about God's Word? You know, boys and girls, every time we gather in Heartland, we're going to talk about the letter that God has sent us, and we can read it every day. And what is that letter called, boys and girls? Bible. That's right, the Bible. I open my Bible and listen to God. He tells me what I should do. I know that He loves me. He hears when I pray, and all of His stories are true. Now let's be very still and quiet 
and see what the Bible has to tell us this morning. Good morning, Bible. Good morning, Farmer Joey, and good morning, boys and girls. Please tell us something for God's Word this morning, Bible. The Bible verse today is, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Deuteronomy 6, verse 5. Let's say a verse together, boys and girls, and repeat after me. Love the Lord your God. Love the Lord your God. With all your heart. With all your heart. With all your soul. With all your soul. And with all your strength. And with all your strength. Awesome. Let's repeat that, boys and girls. Love the Lord your God. Love the Lord your God. With all your heart. With all your heart. With all your soul. With all your soul. And with all your strength. And with all your strength. God wants people to love him and to obey him. Yes, he does, Bible. But some people don't always believe that there is a true God. So that's when God had helpers perform miracles. The prophets were given special powers to perform miracles so that more and more people would believe in God. Right. And then God sent his son Jesus to perform miracles and prove that he was the son of God and that people should believe in him and follow him. And when you believe in Jesus and follow him, you will get to go to heaven. Exactly, Bible. Because when we believe that Jesus is God's son, that he died on the cross, was buried, and rose again, then we get to go to heaven. Isn't that great, boys and girls? Thank you, Bible, for helping me teach the boys and girls about loving God and believing in him. Wow, Mr. Joaquin, just when I think I know all about God, I learned something new. I knew that the prophets were able to make miracles happen, but today I learned that God gave them his power so that more and more people would believe and know that he is the one true God. Yes, Miss Erica, every time a prophet like Elijah made something impossible happen, it was almost like he was holding up a big sign telling people that God is real and he's all powerful. Wow, when you put it that way, it seems that God sent Jesus to hold up the biggest and best sign of all. That's right. By dying on the cross for our sins and rising from the dead, Jesus wants all of us to know that he is the son of God who came with the power to save us from our sin. That's why whoever believes in Jesus can be part of God's family and live with him forever. Well, that is good news to me, Mr. Joaquin. I love being a part of God's family more than anything. I hope you do too, kids. Hey, why don't we go back to the farm and hear about miracles Elijah did? Plus, we can find out if Miss Sue and Tiana Finish baking that homemade bread. Mmm, I like the way you think, Mr. Joaquin. Let's go. Vámonos. Mmm, -hmm. I can't wait. Finally all done with that bread. I can't wait till it's all done cooking. Mm -hmm. Hi, Tiana. Wait, are you done making the bread already? Oh, no. We made all the dough and let it rise, and now it is in the oven baking. So are you ready to talk about the miracles? I sure am. And the first one I want to talk about is when Elisha healed the man with the terrible skin disease. Oh, yes, that is a good one. Didn't the man have to go to a river or something? Very good, Tiana. Yes, he had to go to the Jordan River and wash seven times. And then the man was healed and his skin was clean. That is a good one. I like the one where the men were at the Jordan River and were cutting down the trees. You know, that's a good one, too. So while the men were cutting down the trees, one of the axes fell in the water. And Farmer Joey, the axe sank to the bottom because it was so heavy. But Elisha threw a stick into the water and the axe floated to the top so the men could use it again. Yeah, that was so awesome. You know, there are many more miracles in the Bible but my favorite is the miracle of Jesus. Huh? The miracle of Jesus? Don't you mean the miracles that Jesus did? No. I'm talking about the miracle of Jesus. Remember, 
Jesus is God's only son and was born on earth. And then Jesus died for our sins so we could be saved and live with God in heaven. And lastly, Jesus was buried and then rose again, which means he came back to life. Wow, I never thought about it like that. How Jesus was a miracle that God sent to save all the people of the earth. I'm going to go home and tell my mom and dad about that. It's so cool. Yeah, it is cool. So, wait, Tiana, uh, about the bread, do, do you think there'll be enough for me? Well, Miss Sue said that we might not be able to give everyone a whole loaf, but we should have enough to share with everyone. Oh, great. That's awesome. I really, really love homemade bread. Well, I'd better get back to finish helping Miss Sue get the bread out and cooling down so we can go around Heartland and hand it out. Bye, Farmer Joey. I'll be back with your bread soon. All right. Bye, <laughs> Tiana. See you soon. Boys and girls, wasn't it great learning all about the different miracles that Elisha performed to show the people that God is the one true God? Jesus was the best miracle ever. So how about we show God how much we love him by standing and singing another song? girls. All our Bible stories point us to Jesus. This week, we learned about Elisha and all the miracles he performed. God had Elisha perform these miracles to show that he was the one true God. Then, when God sent Jesus and Jesus performed the miracles, it was to show the people that he was the one true son of God. So, boys and girls, let's repeat our Bible verse. And make sure you say it as awesome as you can. Love the Lord your God. Love the Lord your God. With all your heart. With all your heart. 
with all your soul, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your strength. Deuteronomy 6.5. Great job. Now, let's bow our heads and talk to the Lord and repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for loving us so much that you sent your only son, Jesus, that you sent your only son, Jesus, to save us from our sins, to save us from our sins. We love you. We love you. In your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, for my favorite part, let's tell your mom and dad just how much God loves them. You ready? One, two, three. This is true. God loves me and God loves you. See you next time, boys and girls. Bye. Mr. Joaquin, I love hearing all about those miracles Elisha did to show the people that the Lord is the one true God. Me too, Miss Erika. And let's not forget the best miracle ever. Jesus himself. Oh, you're so right, Mr. Joaquin. Jesus is the best sign God could give us to show us just how much he loves us and wants us to know him. Remember, kids, the more you learn about him, the more you'll be able to do exactly as our memory verse says, and love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Ms. Erika, thanks for that reminder. We all this talk about miracles. I almost forgot about our memory verse. I must be getting hungry. What about we make our way back to the farm and see if there is enough homemade bread for you and me? Sure. Hey, kids, it's been great being in Heartland with you, with you all. Remember, Jesus came to show us how much God loves you. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.